just before we start off our class, um, as always, we are going to go through our class etiquettes. So make sure that you have done wudu, that you have done your ablution. Make sure that you are wearing clean clothes and that your head is covered. Also make sure that you are sitting in a quiet place to eliminate any background noise and you are under parental supervision. Um, make sure that you have signed in using the correct IDs. If you have not signed in with the correct IDs, use this time right now to rename yourself as only correct IDs will be called to the mic. And also make sure that you have joined this class today using the same email address which you provided us with at the time of your registration to the G3 course, okay? So make sure that you have signed in with the same email address because we're going to use those email, address, uh, email addresses to assign you, you know, pre-assign you to the breakout rooms. So if you don't do that, then you're going to end up in the main session and it's going to reduce the chance of you being called to the mic. So make sure that you use the same email address that you provided us with at the time of registration to sign into this class today, okay? Now, as always, we are going to start off our class with an opening prayer. So, assalamu alaikum co-host. Malikum assalam. May I please have a student to the mic for an opening prayer? Uh, yes, sure. Um, I would request NG3097 to kindly unmute her mic. NG3097, Assalamu Alaikum. NG3097, Assalamu Alaikum. Sorry, it is AG3024. AG3024, Assalamu Alaikum. AG3024, Assalamu Alaikum. Alaikum Assalam. How are you doing today? I'm good, and you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, if you can please start off with Awud and Dasmiya and recite this following prayer for me, please. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rabbi zidini ilman. Okay, well, Allah, very nice to recite it. And could you also please read out the English? Oh my Lord, increase increase me in knowledge. Taha one one hundred and fifteen. Okay, well done. Jazakallah khair. Just remember, anything that's got a kasra underneath, you only elongate it for one second. So try to say Rabbi zidni. Rabbi zidni. Okay, perfect. That's it. Jazakallah khair for your time. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, so now that we've gone through the opening prayer, um, let's look at what we are doing today in our class, okay? Now, as it's stated on the title page, we are going to be going through Surah Al-Ma'un today. Now, in other words, Surah Al-Ma'un means small kindness. It has a total number of eight verses and consists of just one ruku, okay? And this surah was revealed to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the holy city of Makkah. So what is the surah all about? What is the subject matter? Well, in the surah before this, the, Quray the Quraysh were told that God had granted them peace and security from danger and had provided them with all necessities of life purely out of his own grace and mercy and not due to any effort on their part or because they deserved all of these favors. In other words, in the surah before this, Allah the Almighty told the people of Quraysh that I have granted you with peace, I have given you security, and I did that because I wanted to bestow my mercy upon you. I gave you all of these things, not because you did anything, anything special for me to give you anything in return, but I did it because I wanted to bestow my mercy upon you, okay? So they didn't earn it, but God just gave it to them as a gift. Um, and in this surah, it is stated that love of the world causes nations to lose faith in the hereafter and to consign God to oblivion. This surah deals with two basic principles of Islam, whose neglect creates denial of religion itself. The two principles are the worship of God and the service of fellow human beings. So in other words, this surah, this particular surah, Surah Al-Ma'un, deals with two basic principles. So if we don't take part in these basic principles, 
then we are denying our own religion. So those two principles are worshipping Allah the Almighty, you know, praying five times a day, asking for forgiveness, uh, forgiveness and worshipping God. And the other p- principle is to, you know, help our fellow human beings, give service to the hello, uh, f- uh, fellow human beings, okay? So this is what the um, this surah is all about. Now, the rule of the day is all to do with normal and soft elongation. The first type that we're going to look at is normal elongation. Now, normal elongation talks about our three mud letters. Those three mud letters are alif, vowel, and ya. So the rule is, whenever you're reading the Quran and you see a blank alif, if the letter before that has got a fatha on top, or if if blank alif is preceded by a mafduh letter, then you elongate for two seconds. For example, in this example here at the bottom, right, there is a blank alif here, and the letter before that has got a fatha on top. So what are we going to do? We're going to elongate for two uh, for two seconds. This blank alif now is actually an alif mud, right? So this is how we're going to say it. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Fa'ami. Fa'ami. So we are elongating for two seconds. This is an alif mud now. Similarly, there, if there is a vowel sakin, and the letter before that has got a dhamma on top, so if vowel sakin is preceded by a madmoom letter, then you are going to elongate for two seconds. For example, in the uh, for example here in the awud, there is vowel sakin, and the letter before that, which is an ayn, has got a dhamma on top. So we elongate for two seconds. We're going to end up saying a'udhu. All right, two second elongation there. So this vowel sakin turns into a vowel mud. All right. And similarly with the ya sakin, if there is a ya sakin and the letter before that has got a kasra underneath. So if there is a ya sakin which is preceded by a makthur letter, then you should elongate for two seconds. For example, in this example, the very first example here, there is a ya sakin and the letter before that, which is a verl, has got a kasra underneath. So what are we doing? We are going to elongate for two seconds. This ya sakin now is a ya mud. So this is how we're going to say it. Alladhi, alladhi. So here we are elongating for two seconds. Okay, so that is the overall rule to do with mud letters. The blank lift should have a fatha before, the vowel sakin should have a dhamma before, and the ya sakin should have a kasra before it in order for these letters to be prolonged for two seconds, okay? Now, the second type of elongation is soft elongation. And these are your lean letters. It's haruful lean that we're talking about here. So we have a vowel sakin and a ya sakin. But in these cases, we are asking ourselves, what if the letter before vowel doesn't have a dhamma on top? What if the letter before ya sakin doesn't have a kasra underneath? Instead, what if it actually has a fatha on top? What are you going to do? Well, in that case, you softly elongate. You softly prolong for two seconds, okay? Lean basically means to soften or to ease in something. So you are softly elongating in this rule. So the rule is whenever there is a vowel sakin or a ya sakin and the letter before that has got a um, fatha on top, if it's a mafduh letter before any one of these letters, then you're going to softly elongate. So in the example below, there is a ya sakin. Okay, you can see there is a ya sakin here. Um, and the letter before that doesn't have a kasra underneath. Instead, it has a fatha on top. So we elongate for two seconds, but we softly elongate. So this is how we're going to say it. Ara'ayta. Ara'ayta. Okay, soft elongating for two seconds. Now I'm going to call a student onto the mic to just help me go through a few um, examples. So if Kohus, I can have a student to the mic for that, please. Yes, mm, I would request AG3042 to unmute her mic. AG3042, right? Yes. Perfect. AG3042, Assalamu Alaikum. 
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, if you could please start off with ta'abud and tasmiya and go through this first example here for me, please. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Biddini Well done, mashallah. Very nice elongated here just for two seconds. Good, well done. Have a go at this one as well. al yatima well done now in this example here there is a ya sakin letter before that has got a kasra underneath so what do we need to do uh, you need to make uh, two seconds elongation well done well done well remembered mashallah and just try and go through this last example here as well for me well done and here are we softly elongating um yes perfect well done Mashallah, very nicely recited. I can see you've understood the rule pretty well. Jazakallah khair for your time. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, so now that we have gone through that, we are now going to just listen to an audio clip of Surah al maun just to see how we would, you know, read, uh, read the surah with the proper pronunciation. Make sure as you're listening to this surah that you are repeating it at home as well as the student does it okay so i'm just about to just gonna play it now listen carefully and follow along yeah bismillahirrahmanirrahim going to pause here because this is where we are going to stop up for today um okay so i'm just going to call a student now to the mic to go through this surah with me so if kohes i can have a student to the mic for that please um yes i would request ng 3032 Perfect. And three zero three two. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? I'm good too. Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, if you can please start off with Awud and Tasmiya and start reciting the surah for me, please. <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
the old button. Wala ya food huz ala tama to mil meski. Okay, mashallah, very nicely recited. I can see you try to give a proper clear sound of your throat letters, which I could re really hear clearly as well. So mashallah, you did a great job at that. And overall, your recitation was really good as well. Let's just look at a few things together, yeah? For example, here, this is just a normal Hamza, okay? It may look like an eye, but it's supposed to be a small Hamza. So try to just give it an alif sound, okay? Just repeat after me if you can, please. Ara'ayta. Can you try saying that to me, please? NG3032, are you still there? I started from sorry. The creator of the host has muted you. Okay, no problem. Well, if you can try recite this word for me, please. Well done. So this time you didn't give the sound from the middle of the throat, which is good because this is not an ayin. It's just a simple hamsa. And here, this is just a simple lamb. So try not to give a thick sound. It's just a normal lamb. It's not Allah's name. Okay. So if this time you can also repeat after me. Okay, much better. But try not to say the la. Just try saying the la. Well done, well done. Mashallah, this time I can already see the improvement. And this letter here, what is this letter called? What is it? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So when you were reading, I think you accidentally gave it a bad sound. But not to worry. I know you know it's a letter, yeah. So it's it's good. Now, mashallah, good recitation. Keep practicing your Hamza and Ayn sounds. And overall, I'm really happy with your recitation today. Okay, that, thank that, you. You're welcome. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Okay. So if I can now please request the G3 in charge to open up the breakout room. As this is being done, when you get a pop-up on your screen asking you to join a breakout room, make sure that you accept that invitation. It will take you to a smaller room with fewer students and it's going to increase the chance that you'll call to the mic. So make sure that you accept that invitation. Okay. Well, it seems like people are already going to the breakout rooms. So that's good. Um, so, um, we are today going to be listening to your hips as always. Um, there are a range of stories that you guys have covered so far. Um, so today, once you're called to the mic, you can tell me which surah you would like to recite off by heart. And then we can go through any errors or any mistakes that are made, okay? Um, so, the first student that I'm going to call to the mic for that is... NG3070. NG3070. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay. Well, out of all the surahs that you have covered so far in this course, which one would you like to recite off my heart today? Uh... Surah Fatiha. Surah Fatiha. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Well, if you can please start off with the Awud and Tasmiyah and start reciting for me, please. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yom Al-Din, Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'een. 
اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم بل الضالين امين امين ما شاء الله very nicely recited indeed i can see you tried your best to recite every word with care which is very good to hear um let's just quickly look at a few things together okay this ha is this one of your throat letters yes yes it is indeed it's a sound that comes from the middle of your throat so try not to give it the regular ha sound there are two different types of ha's okay there is this ha which you know the sound comes from the middle of the throat and there is a normal ha which is here at the bottom actually this one here i don't know if i can highlight that or not this one here which the sound of comes from the bottom more towards the chest side okay so make sure that you're able to show the difference between the two the difference between the sounds okay so here if you can try repeat after me alhamdu alhamdu well done mashallah this time I can really hear that ha sound well. So just make sure that the sound is give, given from the middle of the throat, yeah? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now, if you try saying this word as well for me. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Good, well done. This time I could see that you tried to give that sound from the middle of the throat, but the same thing needs to be done here as well, okay? So these are both the same has so make sure that the sound is given from the middle of the throat here yeah? so mm -hmm. mashallah very good recitation now let's just look at this part here there is a vowel sakin and the letter before that has got a fatha on top so what do we need to do uh, soft elongation yes absolutely so you need to softly elongate here Whenever there is a vowel sakin or a ya sakin and the letter before that has a fatha on top, these are your lean letters. That means we need to softly elongate for two seconds. So if you can try, repeat after me. Maliki yawmiddin. Maliki yawmiddin. Perfect. So this time you softly elongated it and make sure that you elongate for two seconds there, okay? Well done. And this letter here is Ayn. Is Ayn one of your throat letters? Yes. Yes, it is. Well done. Well remembered. And Ayn, the sound comes from the middle of your throat. Okay. So when you're saying the sound, try to give a bit of a jerking sound. If you can please repeat after me. Na'budu. Na'budu. Iyaka na'budu. Okay, well done. Mashallah, very nicely recited. I can see you're already understanding the rules pretty well. And just one um, last thing I would like to add. Any letter that has got a kasra underneath, you need to give an E sound. A lot of the times people tend to make the mistake of saying ihdi. Just try saying ihdi. Can you try saying that for me, please? Well done. Now try reciting this whole verse, but make sure to, you know, correct yourself over here, yeah? <clears throat> well done. Well done. Mashallah, you're a very fast learner and I can already hear you making those improvements in your recitation. So mashallah, overall, your memorization was on point. You didn't forget anything. And, um, you're also understanding the rules pretty well, so that's very good to know. Jazakallah khair for your time. Keep practicing and try to go over the surah as many times as you can, but bearing in mind all of those things that we have spoken about today. Yeah? Okay. Okay, perfect. Well, Jazakallah for coming to the mic today. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Jazakallah. Jazakallah khair. Okay. So... Um, the next student that I'm going to call to the mic is 
AG3069. AG3069. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm good. How are you? I'm good too, Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, which surah would you like to read off by heart today? Um, surah Al-Fatiha. Surah Al-Fatiha. Okay, well, that's fine. If you can please start off with our wood and Tasmiya and start reciting Surah Al-Fatiha for me, please. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Ar-Rahmanir rahim Malik yawm al-deen Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een Ihdina al-sirat al-mustaqeem Sirat al-lazina an-amta alayhim Wairi al-maghubi alayhim Faladdaaam Ameen Ameen MashaAllah Beautiful recitation Not only did you remember the whole surah Off by heart pretty well You recited it very nicely very beautifully and also your you made sure that you gave the right throat letter sounds you elongated very well at places as well overall mashallah today your recitation was really good Thank do you, you listen to do you listen to surahs uh, on youtube as well yeah um i li- yeah, you do listen to them online. Well, I could see that because you're sort of adapting to like an Arabic tune, which I could see that you had been practicing that, you know, as part of your homework. So I'm very happy with your recitation today. There's only one thing I would like to mention or to add to your recitation. Here, there is a ya sakin, yeah? Ya with a sukun or a jism on top. What's yeah. the letter before that got on top? Alam. Yeah, so what's the lam got on top? Zabr. Yeah, a zabr, which is an Urdu word, but in, uh, in Arabic we say a fatha, yeah? So well done. When there is a fatha before a ya sakin, what do we end up doing? Alay. Well done. So we are softly elongating it, okay? So when you are reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, try not to speed through it too much. Because so what happens is when you read it a bit fast, you sort of tend to miss out on all the places that you're meant to softly elongate, yeah? So, for example, I lay him, and similarly here as well, there's the same example here. Your elongation was really good, but at places I felt like I couldn't really hear that soft elongation where it was meant to be. But overall, mashallah, beautiful recitation. There's only one thing I wanted to pick out, and I did that. So I'm really happy with your recitation today. Did you understand the rule that was taught? Yes. Perfect. Okay, well, Jazakallah khair for coming to the mic today. And Khudafis. Khudafis, take care. Okay. Can I just also quickly make an announcement that anyone who is signing with the incorrect IDs should rename themselves because unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier on during the class etiquettes, that only correct IDs will be called to the mic. So make sure that you are renaming yourself okay and if you are still with the incorrect ids you are going to be put in the waiting room so to prevent yourself from doing that um you know rename yourself right now and if you find yourself that you know you haven't got the uh, you don't know what your correct id is you can email us and the email address is g3 hifs at gmail.com so if you don't know what your right or the correct id is Email us at g3hips at gmail.com. Okay, so that's what you need to do. Just make sure that you rename yourself. Okay, having said that, the next student that I'm going to call to the mic is AG39265. AG39265. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? 
Good, how are you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, so which surah would you like to recite today? Um, surah Tunas. Okay, perfect. Um, so let's take out Surah An Nas. If you can please start off with Ta'awud and Tasmiya and start reciting Surah An Nas for me, please. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kul a'uzu bi rabbin nas. Malikin nas. Ilahin nas. Min sharril vaswasil khannas. Allazi wasui sufi sudur nas. Min al-jinnati wal nas. Okay, mashallah. Also a very good recitation here again. Um beautifully remembered you didn't really forget the surah so that was really good to know um and also your recitation as in your your pronunciation is very good as well you're elongating all the letters correctly so that's good to know as well just a few things i would like to point out today i think this is one of the rules that you went through yesterday if i'm not wrong but it's all to do with the raw okay so if the raw has got a fatha or a dhamma on top, what do we need to do? Do you know? Um, uh, no. Okay, no problem. Well, if there is a ra and it has got a fatha or a dhamma on top, you need to give a thick, round sound, okay? So give a round mouth, but a thick sound as well. So if you can please repeat after me. Birabinas. Birabinas. Much better, much better, mashallah. Very nicely recited. And this time, even though I cannot see you give that round mouth, I know that you're giving the right, the right round mouth. Okay, so well done for that. Um, just remember to give that round mouth on the rod. Here, in the um, fourth verse, there is a noon sakin. Now, the rule with the noon sakin is that whenever you're reading the Quran and you see a noon sakin, the first thing you need to do is look at the next letter. So you have to look at the next letter. What is this letter here? What's the next letter after a noon sakin? Um, a sheen. A sheen. Well done. So when, do you know if sheen is one of your throat letters? Yes, I knew that. Okay, so is it one of your throat letters? Yes. Okay, well, sheen is actually not one of your throat letters. Um, so when when the letter after noon sakin is not one of your throat letters, you need to hide the sound of the noon, yeah? So you need to make sure that when you're reciting it, because sheen is not one of your throat letters, you're going to hide the sound of the noon. So you're going to, you're going to end up saying, Mil try, saying that, try saying that for me. Min Perfect. So hide the sound of the noon there. Yeah. Well done. Um, and just one more thing I would like to add is this kha is also one of your round mouthed letters. Just like the ra, we gave a thick ra sound. You need to give a round mouth to the kha as well. Okay. So if you can please repeat after me. Khanas. Khanas. Well done, mashallah. Very nicely recited. If you can recite this fourth verse again for me, but making sure that you hide the sound of noon here and also making sure that you give a round mouth here. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Well done, well done. Mashallah, much better and beautiful recitation. I can already see that you've started improving um, already. So just practice, practice the surah. Make sure to, you know, see what rules are present within the surah and try and pick out rules and see which rules are 
the ones that you're making more mistakes in and just practice those rules over and over again. Um, and apart from that, I just have to say a great recitation today. Jazakallah khair for your time. Jazakallah. Okay, sorry, before you go, sorry, two seconds before you go, can I just see the ID that you're using um, seems to be an incorrect ID. Is it because you've typed it incorrectly yourself by accident or is this the ID that you were received? Uh, this is the ID, uh, how it was already. Okay, so I think maybe that must have been a misunderstanding. If you can check your emails again and see what the correct ID is, you should have AG and then four, four numbers after it. Okay? Yeah, because the other teacher told me there was like three or three. There was Asalaamu Alaikum. Assalamualaikum. Sorry to interrupt you, MT. Um, so basically, for atfal, then the ID should start with AG three, okay, and for nasrat it starts with NG three. So make sure that you have received it in email. If you haven't, you can email us at g three hips at gmail dot com. Okay, make sure to mention your name, AIMS number, and Jamaat, and hopefully we will. Um, We'll try our best to issue the ID as soon as possible. But you can't keep uh, using this uh, wrong ID. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Jazakallah, G1, uh, G3 in charge. Okay. Well, uh, Jazakallah khair for your time today. Mashallah, very good recitation. Keep practicing and inshallah you get there very soon. Okay? Allah Hafiz. I think you've already muted yourself, but okay, I'll laugh is. Um, so the next student that I'm going to call to the mic is going to be AG3004. AG3004, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? I'm good. Alhamdulillah, good to know. Could you please tell me which surah you would like to go through today? Mm. Um, um, I would like to go through Surah Nasr, but um, I'm not in the breakout room anymore because my I think my connection crashed. Oh, so you're meant to be in a breakout room. Okay, I'm um, okay. three in charge. Um, did you recite in the breakout room already? No. Um, no. Okay, well, that's fine. Now that I've got you onto the mic, I'll just listen to you, okay? Okay. Jazakallah. So Surah Nasr, you said you wanted to recite, yeah? Yes. Okay, perfect. If you can start off with our wooden Tasmiya and start reciting Surah Nasr for me, please. Okay. Uh Billahi Mina Shaitani Wajim. Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. Oh, <laughs> Okay, mashallah, very nicely recited. Another very beautiful, nice recitation here today. Um, just a few things I would like to add today. Number one, actually, your memorization was really good. You didn't make any mistakes um, according to you know your hips. So your hips was very good. Um, but just a few things I would like to add. For example, um, to the student that came on before, I said that whenever there is a ra and it's got a fatha or a dhamma on top, what do we need to do? Do you know? A thick letter. Yes, right. Well done. Well done. So it's a thick letter and you also need to give a round mouth. So if you can try repeat after me. Well done. Try to recite this again, but bear in mind that you have to give a thick, round-mouthed sound here, yeah? Okay. Yeah, so try that one more time. 
Vassar Bihamdi Labbika Vastagfir. Okay, so try reciting from here for me. Mm, okay. Vala Eitana Sayed Huluna Fidi Nilahi Del. Nilahi Afawaja. Okay, well done. So just make sure to give a round, thick mouth, a uh, round mouth um, sound here, but at the same time, give a thick sound as well, okay? Because the raw has got okay. the sound top. Um, mm -hmm. And just another thing I wanted to add is that is fur one of your calcula letters? No. No, well remembered, well remembered. So because fa is not one of your calcula letters, we're going to end up not giving a jerking sound. We, we're not going to give a jerking sound here. So rather than okay. saying afwaja, you're going to end up saying afwaja. Can you try saying that for me, please? Afwaja. Well done. Um, just make sure not to say af because that, that's you giving a jerking sound on the wrong letter, okay? So once more, afwaja, af afwaja. Much better, much better. Well done for that. And here again, there is a raw with a fatha, so we need to give a thick sound. So if you can please repeat after me, robika, robika. Do that one more time, robika. Lobika. Okay, much better, much better. Um, and the same thing here. Is rain one of your calcula letters? No. No, good. So are we going to give a jerking sound here? No. No, absolutely. So try not to say just to, just try saying Try not to give a jerking sound here. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Was Dagfir. Good, much better. So this time you didn't give a jerking sound. Um, just make sure that you're giving a jerking sound on those letters, which are the Kalkala letters, okay? Um, okay. If they've got a sukun or a jism on top, or if they are at the end of the verse and you're pausing and they are your Kalkala letters, that is when you need to give a jerking sound. These normal letters like fa, rain, ha, these are not your Kalkala letters, yeah? Yes. But overall, mashallah, very beautiful recitation. I can already see you've already started making good improvements within your recitation as well. So that's good to know. Keep practicing and make sure to go over your Kalkala rule again and again. Yeah? Yes. Perfect. Well, just thank you Allah Allah. for coming on the mic. Thank you. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay. So the next student that I'm going to call to the mic is going to be um, okay um, if i can please have ng3079 ng3079 Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good too. Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, which surah would you like to recite today off by heart? Surah Lahab. Surah Lahab. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm just going to pause the screen here. Uh, if you can start off with Ta'abud and Tasmiyah and start reciting Surah Lahab for me, please. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanil rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Tappat yada api lahabim batap Ma'ana anku ma'anku wa ma'kashap Shayasna lanja talahap Wa ma'ana 
Mashallah, very nicely recited as well. Um, just a few things I want to go through. First of all, I'm really happy with the jerking sounds that you're making. At the end of every verse, you've given me a very beautiful jerking sound. So I'm very happy about that. The only place where I feel like your jerking sound can be improved at is actually this place here, the first verse. Now, whenever there is a letter, we just got a shadda or, a, you know, the shteed on top. What do we do? A shadda is this W sound uh, sign here. What do we do if there is a letter? Yep. Double. Yeah, so you have to put pressure on it. So when you're reciting it, you're going to end up saying, what the b? Can you try saying that for me? What the b? Okay, try to hold on to the b for a good one or two seconds, okay? Let's try that one more time. What the b? What the b? Good, good. Can you hear the difference when I say what the b and kasab? Do you hear the difference between the two? Yeah. Yeah, so with this one, we're just saying kasaba. We're just giving a normal jerking sound. But here, what the b we are putting pressure on is almost as if we're putting pressure and holding onto the bar and then letting go of it. So if you can try reciting the first verse again, but make sure that you hold onto the bar, you press onto the bar. Good, well done, mashallah. Now I can really hear that, you know, pressure that you're putting on top of the bar. So good, well done. The other thing I wanted to mention was when you were reciting, you, I think, accidentally forgot to say this part here. So when you're reciting this verse, try not to forget the na Okay, that's also part of the verse. So if you can recite this verse after me, please. Okay, well done. Mashallah, very nicely recited. Just remember to not forget that word, yeah? Okay. Yeah, perfect. And the only one last thing I would like to add is this hair is one of your throat letters. So make sure that when you're saying this particular hair here, that you're giving the sound from the middle of your throat. Okay. So try repeat after me. Hamma. Hamma. Okay, well done. But this time, try give the sound from the middle of your throat. So one more time. Hamma. Hamma. Much better, much better. Mashallah, very nicely recited. Keep practicing and try to remember, you know, not to forget this word here. Yeah? Okay. Perfect. Well, Jazakallah khair for your time today. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, perfect. Well, um, G3 in charge, if I could please ask you now to close the uh, breakout rooms. G3 in charge, are you there? Okay, no problem. Um, okay, so now since the breakout rooms are all closing, we're gonna have students come back into the main session, inshallah. Um, we're just going to wait for a minute or two for the children to come back in and then we will go through our homework inshallah okay meanwhile keep thinking about the rule that we went through today here at the bottom you've got normal and soft elongation that we went through and try and think about what the difference between the two is okay
Okay, so we've got students coming back into our main session now. Just going to wait a few more seconds and then inshallah we will go through the homework. Okay, so let's now go through our homework together. The surah that you guys all went through today was Surah Al Ma'un. Okay, so make sure as part of your homework that you memorize the first four verses. We didn't go through the whole surah, we just went through the first half. So make sure that you memorize verses one to four. And also make sure to go through the following chapters Surah Al Fatiha, Surah Al Nas, Surah Al Falak, Surah Al Ikhlas, Surah Al Lahab. Um, Surah al nasr Surah Al-Kafirun, and Surah Al-Kawthar. These are all the surahs that you have covered so far, so make sure that you go through them. There is no rule quest for today, um, but also just make sure that you go over the rule that we went through today, normal elongation and soft elongation. Um, if there is a fatah occurring before a blank alif, you elongate for two seconds. If there is a dhamma occurring before a vowel sakin, you elongate for two seconds. If there is a kasra occurring before a ya sakin, you um, prolong for two seconds. Um, but with a ya sakin and vowel sakin, if, if it's preceded by a maftuh letter, a letter carrying a fatah, then we softly elongate. And this is your uh, example of lean, okay? So these are your lean letters, ya, sakin, and vowel sakin. You softly elongate for two seconds. So that's the homework. Make sure you practice the surahs and go through the rule that we went through today. Um, just before we finish our class today, as always, I'm going to call a student to the mic to recite the ending prayer for me. So if co-host, I can have a student to the mic for that. Um, yes, uh, I would request NG3044 to please unmute her mic. Yeah, NG3044. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? Alhamdulillah, I'm very good. How are you? I'm good too. Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, if you can please start off with the Awud and Tasmiya and recite the following prayer for me, please. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim وَجَعَلْهُ لِي إِمَّمَّنْ إِمَامًا وَنُورًا وَهُدًا وَرَحْمَةً oh, Beautiful recitation of Allah. And the English for me, please. Uh, oh Allah, have mercy on me through the Qur'an the Great to the great Qur'an, and make it for me the leader, the light, and the mercy, the guidance, and the mercy. Okay, mashallah, very nicely recited, NG30, um, sorry, NG3044. Jazakallah khair for your time. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, so now that we just had this beautiful recitation, um, we've come towards the end of our class. Um, make sure that you guys do your homework and um, keep practicing those rules and keep practicing those rules that we've been through in our classes. Um, take care of yourselves and I hope to catch you guys in, an, in another class soon. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. <laughs>